Hi guys, today I'll be teaching you how to convert a video file uh, without you even being at your computer. Uh, yes, that's possible. Usually when you want to convert a video file, say for example you've downloaded a, a movie, uh, it's in AVI format and you want to put it on your iPod so you have to convert it to MP4 format. Normally what you'd have to do is start a conversion which would normally take say an hour, an hour and a half and you'd have to sit through it uh, just, just converting the file. But now I'm going to teach you how to hibernate your computer at night and uh, set up a timer so that a program will automatically convert uh, your video to the time you tell it to and the next day when you get back from school you're going to turn on your computer and you know, the video is going to be converted and ready for you to watch or put on your iPod so first things first these things we're just going to do to uh, prepare for uh, the video conversion. So in order to use the Windows Scheduler Task Manager, whatever it's called, we have to have a password on on the account we're using right now. So if you don't have a password on the account, you gotta put it on. But don't worry about it because I'm gonna teach you how to auto log on. So each time you turn on your computer, you don't even have to punch in that password. It's gonna log on for you. So first thing, you have to make a password for your user account. I'm not gonna do that because you probably know how to do that yourself. Then I'm gonna get you to click Start click run and type in regedit R E G E D I T and click OK I have already done this down here okay once the registry editor is open I want you to click uh, navigate to H key local machine software and uh, go to Microsoft After Microsoft, you have to go to Windows NT, current version, and uh, Win Logon, and just click on the folder that says Win Logon, and you should see a screen like this. Okay, over here, Auto Admin Logon. Right-click that, click Modify, and if you have a zero over here, like that, just erase it. Push a one and click OK. This will tell the computer to auto log on for you. Okay, so now you have to tell it what the default username is. Double click on that. Make sure that is your default username for this account. Mine is admin or administrator. And my default password, uh, you shouldn't be able to see that. that uh, my default password I've typed in. So just double click on that and type in your password. Okay, once you type in your password, just close this. And if any antivirus or anything asks you if you want to allow the registry change, click allow. You're supposed to allow it. So basically, you just change your, your registry to uh, make auto login the binary value should be 1. And you should, uh, you should make sure that the default password and the default username are correct. Okay, once you have that out of the way, you're ready to start the conversion part of this. You're ready to start making the program. First, you need a program, a video converter tool or program that supports command line. And command line is pretty much just like a, a program we write that the, that the program understands. So I have Magic Video Converter and Total Video Converter. Magic Video Converter doesn't have a command line, so I can't use that, but Total Video Converter does have a command line. So just buy a total video converter or get any other video converter that um, that supports command line. So open uh, once you've downloaded, installed it, purchased it, whatever, just open it and uh, try to find the help file uh, once once the program's open. Any help file should have the instructions for. All right, once the f uh, help file is open, just double click uh, on command line wherever you see command line in whatever help file you're using. This should come up. Uh, this gives you an example of what the program uh, should really look like. So pretty much we're actually programming the computer to do something that Total Video Converter, the program, understands. Okay, so over here they gave an example. They want to convert uh, a file called Convert Test, which is in a 3GP format. 3GP is usually used for mobile things such as phones. So the file name is Convert Test dot 3GP and they want to convert it to VCD format in the name testout.mpg so they want to convert it to MPEG and uh, this, is what you, this is what you have to program, this is what you have to put in the command prompt of the computer so TVC is the program used slash F, you could look up here, slash F means input file so after slash F they totaled the input file which is called test.3gp 
So type in the input file name. Slash O over here it means output file. So just type test out.mpg, that's what they want to call it here, test out.mpg. So you have the input file name, the output file name. Then they put in slash pi space ini. Slash pi over here means output settings using using ini file name. And then uh, I'll, I'll tell you what an ini file name is. So they put in the ini file name slash pn means output settings using profile name in ini file. And the profile name in the ini file according to them was pal vcd mpeg normal. Okay, so that might sound pretty complicated right now, but it's not really. So uh, let's just get started. You, pro you should probably understand uh, what we're doing on the way. Okay, so just minimize everything and go to the directory uh, on your hard drive where you installed the, the converting program. So I've installed in my computer in the C drive down in program files. I'm going to navigate to total video converter, which is right here. So double click on that. And if you recall, in the help file, the first command was TVC. This means that the program is called TVC. So let's look if the program's there in this directory. Let's just scroll down. And oh, look, there's TVC. If I double click on that, total video converter should pop up. And that's the program we're using to convert this file. All right. Now to explain the INI stuff, there's a folder called INI. Double click on that. Okay, as you can see here, these are a bunch of file extensions. Uh, 3GP, like I said before, FLVs for Flash, uh, iPod Movie, iPod MPEG uh, MP4. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to give an example of converting a video to MPEG4 format to put on your iPod. So that's exactly what you want, iPod MP4. So double click on that file. That's the, that's the INI file. So whenever the help file says, okay, now you got to type in the name of the INI file, you type in iPod MP4. All right, and then see in the video, uh, in the help file, after, after row PI, which was for output settings using INI file name, so the INI file name they used was palvcd. This ours will be iPod MP4.ini. That's the extension of an INI file. And then they type in slash PN. PN may, it means output settings using profile name in INI file. Their profile name was palvcd mpeg normal. Our profile name could either be iPod mpeg normal quality, but I want high quality because we're cool people and we like high quality stuff. So here's the profile name iPod mpeg lower quality. Oh, we missed high quality. Uh, right here iPod MP mpeg high quality. So now you know exactly what to punch in. TVC is a program name slash f to input the, the type in the name of the input file slash o output file slash pi space ini is the name of the ini file which we have right here ipod mp4 slash pn which is the profile name and this is right here ipod mpeg4 high quality all right so now we that we know exactly how to set up our parameters we could actually begin programming now this takes maximum about five minutes once you know how to do it, everything but since I'm teaching you this might take a little, a, a little longer alright so just minimize everything for now and uh, since this video is getting already it's about eight and a half minutes or so uh, and YouTube only lets me upload ten minutes I'm gonna end this part right here and to continue watching uh, open um, whatever the, I name this uh, video later just open part two of this video and that will teach you how to program uh, it how to program the pro uh, how to program uh, the computer to know what uh, it wants you to do or what you want it to do, and then actually setting up the schedule so it would automatically run the program that you've made at a time you desire, and um, and pretty much it'll just convert the video without you even being at your computer. So just watch the next part. Thanks for watching this part.